Yes, had trouble with third gear, it jumped out every time I accelerated. I changed the gear oil and replaced it with Liquamoly, and lo and behold, third gear didn't jump out anymore. Yes, and because it worked really well, I thought to myself, why don't you try the Liquamoly additive right away, because the gears are difficult to shift. With the additive, the transmission should be easier to shift. I have 75 watts 90 here and the best part was that the 75 watts 90 was in the gearbox too, I just swapped it one for one, old one out and new one in. Yes, I was incredibly happy that the third gear stayed in place and I thought to myself, if the Liquamoly additive keeps its promises, then it can only get better, so I said okay, I'll just try the Liquamoly additive now. I have already tested the additive in another gearbox. I found that the stuff forms a thick film directly on the gears. At that time I had to disassemble the gearbox, because I had to redo the synchro rings and the bearings. The input always consists of two gears, a fixed gear wheel and a loose wheel which is supported by a needle bearing. The idler gears sit on the input shaft, and the fixed gears sit on the output shaft, that leads to the differential dot if. I now turn the input shaft and fix the output shaft. You can see that I still turn both shafts, this is because we are idling. If I now engage the gear, I can no longer hold the output shaft, because there is now a frictional connection. The aisle is in. The synchro ring itself consists of external teeth and an internal friction surface. If you now engage the gear, the synchro ring presses on the idler gear, it has a cone and by pressing the synchro ring, the idler gear is braked until it has the same speed as the shaft. The shift sleeve then passes over the synchro ring to the idler gear, and we already have a non-positive connection. All gears are shifted according to this principle, except reverse gear. The reverse gear does not have two pairs of gears, but three. When reverse gear is engaged, both shafts run in opposite directions. Now you drive backwards. I would like to try this additive now. 50 grams are sufficient for 2.5 liters of gear oil. I hope I still have room, otherwise I still have to drain the gear oil. Now we open the screw on the gearbox at the top. You can also go through the wheel well. But I have a skid plate, I have to unscrew them first to get to the gearbox. Now we need to loosen the screw. For reasons of space, this is where it gets a bit complicated. But that's okay. The oil is added through this opening. If you have too much oil in the transmission, do you have to siphon off the oil? When you open the screw, no oil should leak out. Otherwise you have no space for the liquid moly additive. Now I put the additive in the gearbox. Squeeze the tube really well. Then we tighten the screw again. An existing underrun protection can now be attached again. The additive mixes with the transmission oil when the vehicle is moving. The first improvement should be visible after 311 miles. Did you like the translation? Feel free to write it in the comments. If you liked the video, please give me a subscription. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.